Lee D. Role Blue Single Lee Ryan Land's role in EastEnders as new bad boy Woody. Boy band star expected on screens within weeks after bagging plum role. All we need is Simon Webby and Anthony Costa to get jobs on Coy and Emmerdale and Boy Band Blue will have completed the clean sweep of the UK soaps. After the success of Duncan James in Holly Oaks, Lee Ryan has bagged a plum role on EastEnders. E. Ryan is looking forward to his new role in EastEnders. He will play the square's latest bad boy, Woody Woodward, and is expected on screens within weeks. Lee said, I'm so excited to be part of the show. Woody is the best role I could have wished for. He's a brilliant character and it's clear he's led a colorful life. Lee with his blue band mates. Everyone at EastEnders has been so welcoming. Lee's bandmate Duncan has been making huge waves up in Holly Oaks. His turn as Ryan Knight earned him a National Television Awards nomination for Best Newcomer. The writers also managed to sneak some puns about the boy band in the soap. Lee's bandmate Duncan with Chelsea Healy in Holly Oaks. In a scene with Goldie McQueen, played by Chelsea Healy, she says to him, You've got the bluest eyes I've ever seen. They're so blue. If Lee can get his band's hit all rise on the Queen Vic jukebox, he'll definitely deserve an award. David Tennant will no longer play D. Alec Hardy as Broadkirch comes to an end. Broadkirch has been a massive hit since its 2013 debut and it's understandable that David Tennant will be upset he won't play D. Alec Hardy again after finishing filming Series 3 last year. His partnership with Olivia Colman's D.S. Ali Miller won rave reviews and helped keep millions glued to find out who the murderer was in the first two seasons. But David said the latest season, which starts on February 27, will be bittersweet because it's the final one. He said, It is sad to think we will never return to this world and to these characters because I feel so fondly towards them. But I will always feel proud to be associated with this show. There is a massive personal legacy having worked on this show. We all feel like we have been doing something very special. The final series sees Lenny Henry and Coy's Julie Hesmondalg join the cast. I'm sure it will go out with a bang. Lorraine's epic voyage. Congratulations to my ITV colleague and son columnist Lorraine Kelly, taking a well-deserved break to celebrate her silver wedding anniversary. She will be following in the footsteps of her hero, the polar explorer Sir Ernest Shackleton. Standing in for her on her ITV show will be Helen Skelton for a week from Monday and then Christine Lampard for the following fortnight. Lorraine said, I will be keeping in touch throughout my journey and I look forward to sharing my adventure with Lorraine viewers when I return. I'll still be on as usual, with all the backstage gossip and news from the Brit Awards next week. I'm looking forward to working with Helen and can't wait to see my pal Christine. Abby Phillips set for audition on The Voice. ITV's short-lived talent show Soap Star Superstar ended a decade ago, but luckily for Hollyoaks actress Abby Phillips The Voice is here instead. Abby played Liberty Savage on the Channel 4 Soap for two and a half years up until 2013, but always had ambitions to make it in music. She will be appearing on screens again on Saturday when she sings for coaches on the talent show. A source revealed, Abby has always had a passion for music and it really comes through in her performance. She performs Girl Crush by the American country group Little Big Town and the coaches are all impressed. It's been her dream for years to get her singing career off the ground and she thought this was the perfect opportunity. Since leaving Hollyoaks, Abby has toured primary schools as an anti-bullying campaigner after being trolled by viewers while on screen. Now she is hoping for a new career, but it's not her first shot at music. She released a single called Summer Sunshine in 2011. Then she originally won her Hollyoaks role by writing a song called Missing You, which was played when the character Steph Cunningham, played by Carly Stenson, died in a house fire. Fingers crossed her audition on The Voice doesn't see her budding singing career go up in flames. Soapbox
Michelle is pleased to be reunited with a teenage lover she seduced in America on EastEnders. But her joy doesn't last for long as she struggles to cope with the relationship. She also has other worries as she goes for an interview for a job in teaching. In Emmerdale, Lisa's birthday due at the Woolpack is far from happy, with a disastrous ending. Cassim protests his innocence and even Finn can tell he's not lying. Later, the police suggest that Finn torched the cab himself, which leaves the Bartons confused. confused.